Hello, second grade Smarties, and welcome to I Ready Math Lesson 13, Day 7. So we are still practicing doing three-digit addition, and today we are in our practice and problem-solving book on page 131 and 132. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to get open to those pages. I will dance while I wait. All right. So again, we are practicing adding three digit numbers. So when we are adding three digit numbers, we can use different strategies to solve that problem. Today, what we are going to do is we are going to show the value of each digit in those three digit numbers to find the value of each place value. So let's go ahead and start with number one. And remember, yesterday, I made a mistake, right? And mistakes help us learn. I'm going to make sure to read my word problems two times and to underline important words and circle important numbers that will help me solve the problem. Okay, let's do this. There are 416 oak trees and 238 pine trees in the park. Okay, so I'm going to read that again and circle the important numbers. There are 416 oak trees and 238 pine trees in the park. So we know that we are practicing adding three digit numbers. So we are going to be adding 416 and 238. So in number one, it tells us to fill in the boxes to help us find the total. So for 416, they broke the digits into the value of each digit. So in the hundreds place, we have four hundreds, which is a value of 400. 110 is a value of 10 plus six ones. 238, that two has a value of 200. The three has a value of three tenths or 30. And the eight has a value of eight ones. So looking at the boxes, they went ahead and filled out our ones place. We have 14 ones. Keep that in the back of your head. So let's go on to our tens place. We have 10 plus 30. So 110 plus three tens would be four tens, so 40. And our hundreds place, we have 400 plus 200. So that would be four hundreds plus two hundreds. How many hundreds would we have? We would have six hundreds or 600. All right, for number two, it wants us to look at our ones. 14 ones, do you see something in the ones place that doesn't belong with the ones? I do too. So 14 ones, the number 14 has one group of 10 and four ones. So I'm going to write 600 plus 40 plus 14 right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the value of each place, okay? So in 14, in our ones place, I can't have a 10 in the ones place. So I'm going to keep my four ones in 14, my ones hang out with my ones, and my tens, my one 10 hangs out with my tens. So now I've moved to my tens place. In 14, I had one 10. So now I have one 10 plus four 10s. How many 10s do we have now? We have five 10s, which is a value of 50. And we don't have any hundreds in the tens place, so we can move straight to our hundreds place. So we have 600 plus 50 plus four. How many trees are there all together, Smarties? 600. 54 trees. All right, let's go to page 132. It says Paul has 547 beads. Amy has 219 beads. So I circled my two parts that I'm adding together. All right, so for number four, it's wanting us to fill in the boxes. So fill in the value for each digit. So 547, they went ahead and did that. We had 500 plus 40 plus seven, 219. I want you to go ahead and fill in the values for each digit. So go ahead and do that. While you're doing that, 
I'm going to do a little dance break and then we'll check our answers. <laughs> Did you get it? All right, let's check. So 219, that two has a value of two hundreds. The one has a value of 110. And the nine has a value of nine ones. All right, so we know the value of each digit. Now we're gonna add the values of the ones together, the value of the tens together, and the value of the hundreds together. So let's start with our ones. In our ones, we have nine plus seven. So I can pound and count that. If I don't already know it in my head, I can start at my bigger part and count up seven more. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ooh, 16 ones. All right, and my tens place, I have 40 plus 10. So that would be four tens plus one 10. How many tens do we have? Five tens, and five tens has a value of 50. Now we go to the hundreds place. I have 500 plus 200. How many hundreds am I going to have? I'm going to have seven hundreds, which is a value of 700. Now I'm going to bring my expanded equation. So my expanded number. So I've expanded the number into the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. So I have 700 plus 50 plus 16. All right, and just like we did over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Remember, I wanna keep my ones with my ones, my tens with my tens, and my hundreds with my hundreds. So looking at 16, I see a group of 10. 16 is 110 plus six ones. So if I bring this down, what's gonna stay with the ones place? the six ones. So my six ones are going to stay with the ones place and that one ten is going to go with the tens place. So now I have 10 plus 50 in my tens place. So one ten plus five tens would be six tens, which has a value of 60. And I only have tens in the tens place. I don't have a hundred. I don't have hundreds, so I can bring my 700s down. So now my expanded number is 700 plus 60 plus 6. So how, how many beads do Paul and Amy have all together? They have 766. All right, let's solve our last two problems. It says a zoo has 146 birds and 628 bugs. It also has 258 snakes and 338 fish. Okay, so I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to double check what I am adding this time. So for number six, it says to add how many birds and bugs. All right, so they already made that equation for us. So we're adding our birds and bugs. I'm going to write that equation over here. And school is in session. I am going to write that equation over here, 146 plus 628. All right, so you can solve the equation this way. Or if you want to, you can show the value of each digit. But I am going to show my work on this equation. So I'm going to start in my ones place. Okay, so my ones place, I have eight plus six ones. How many ones would I have? I would have 14 ones. Can I have 14 ones in the ones place? No. So in 14... My ones hang out with my ones. So in 14, there are four ones. And my 10 hangs out with my tens place. Now I am in my tens place. So I have that one 10. I can't forget to add that. My 10 plus four tens plus two tens. So I'm going to start with the top two. One plus four is five tens. And five tens plus two tens is seven tens. What would be the value of seven tens, Smarties? 70. All right. 
And I don't have a hundred in my tens place. So now I can just hop on over to my hundreds. I have 100 plus 600 would be seven hundreds. So how many birds and bugs are there? 774. And I'm going to label it birds and bugs. All right, and I'm gonna make a little squiggly line here because the next problem we're solving, it says how many snakes and fish are there? So snakes and fish, we have 258 snakes and 338 fish. So I'm going to write 258 plus 338. All right, so starting with our ones, we always start with our ones place. So in our ones place, we have eight plus eight. That's a doubles fact. What is eight plus eight? 16. Now, can I have 16 ones in the ones place? No, because 16 has one 10 and six ones. So in 16, my six ones are going to hang out with my ones place and my one 10 is going to hang out in the tens place. They like to stay with their groups. So now I move to my tens place. I have one 10, so 10 plus 50 plus 30. I am telling you the value of each digit. So one 10 plus five tens would be six tens and six tens plus three tens would be nine tens. What is the value of nine tens, Marty? 90. Now looking at my tens place, I don't have too many tens in the tens place to make a hundred. So I can just finish in my hundreds place. I have two hundreds plus three hundreds. What is two hundreds plus three hundreds? Five hundreds. So I have five hundred ninety six snakes and fish. And fish. All right, Smarties, that is it for day seven with lesson 13. I hope that you have found a strategy that has worked best for you. Maybe that's showing the value of each digit. Maybe that's drawing a picture, or maybe it's making a hundreds, tens, and ones chart, or maybe using an open number line. Whoa. But remember, with math, we have to find a strategy that helps us learn. But it's also important to try new strategies to find a strategy that might be better than one you've been using. All right, Smarties, that is it. Remember to keep that growth mindset. Good learners do hard things. And I will see you very soon with a new iReady lesson. Happy learning, Smarties.